Uh, AFC West. Patrick Mahomes is obviously mortal. We saw that this past weekend. Um, still, the, still made some throws. I mean, even even in the loss, still made some inhuman plays. But yeah, he's human. <laughs> yeah. Uh, does uh, my man Justin Herbert challenge him for that division, or does Oh Chucky? It it depends on coaching because what the Chargers lost like three or four games in a row when they were up by like double digits or something. Like I I feel like. Falcons I feel West. like Anthony Lynn doesn't. What's up? The Falcons West. Basically, yeah, and, and, and I think I think if they have a coach who can manage the clock better than Anthony Lynn did, uh, and manage the game plan a little better in terms of like trying to win and instead of trying to not lose, um, absolutely. And I feel like they get they get um, who's their defensive? Who's the safety that was out all last year? Derwin James. Yeah, you get Derwin James back. I know he's he's perpetually hurt, so you can't really rely on him to stay healthy. But like, uh, you got Keenan Allen as as always. Um, I mean, there's there's the talent to be good on that team for sure. You got the pass rush. You know, we're Chargers guys. Yeah, I we're think, I think at heart, I think at heart, they're my second team, right? Yeah, they are. Like I have always kept an eye on them. I mean, they they lose the same way my Falcons lose. We we lived we lived in the city. You actually worked for them for a little while. You know it was. They paid my bills for a little bit. Yeah, man. I I love San Diego. I I love San Diego sports. And one of my biggest beefs with Donald Sterling is that he ripped the Clippers from that great city that deserves to have three sports teams. I mean. I don't know if they'd fill, be able to fill up a stadium, but that's a whole nother that's a whole nother conversation. That's not you know how cheap tickets we could have gotten and probably <laughs> walked our way down to courtside for games against I don't know teams no one wanted to see. That's true. Go see the Kings. Yeah. Or just imagine us being able to go to basketball games during our time in San Diego. That weren't Globetrotter games. That would have been fantastic. Yeah, like I wasn't going to that shit or going all the way to L.A. to pay, to play uh, pay Lakers prices. No, nah, always Clippers prices. That yeah, but anyways, back to that division. Do you think uh, Oakland Oakland gets over the hump or is John Gruden an average coach? I'm rooting for John Gruden. I don't know if it was hard knocks or just the just how charismatic that dude is, but like I want that dude to win. I think th- their ceiling is their QB, though. Because I think they showed that they put together somewhat of a program. They've gotten a little better each year he's been there. Um, Max with two X's, Williams, um, has been good off the edge. That's a, that's a good find. I, seriously, he has two X's in his name. I don't know if that was. I, I, I was just funny as hell that you said that. I just, I just, it's a weird, it's a weird thing. I think uh, you think you think some someone's parents would have had some self awareness, but uh, that's neither here nor there. Um, but so. I just I think they've gotten a little better. Um, you know, we killed them for that Khalil Mack trade, but it looks like I don't know who they got for it, but like it, it, it seems like they they got that running back for him, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he and I don't he didn't light the world on fire last year, but he's been an above average running back. Um, so I think I think it's it's their QB. Like, can can their QB can Derek Carr get better, or will they move him for somebody? Right. I think they should look. They should, it's quarterbacks are moving all around. We we see what Derek Carr is, man. He's he's a little bit better than uh, Kirk Cousins. He's just not going to make the big play when we need it. He doesn't want to let it loose. He let it loose a little bit more this year. A little just, bit. He did let it loose a little bit more, but I I just don't think when you look at that division, man. He's the third best quarterback in the division, and Drew's about to get locked up anyways. And I mean by locked up, as in he's he's, he's going to be done. And if Denver upgrades the quarterback position, you don't want to have the worst quarterback in the division. Uh, quick thing on Denver, I'm yeah. happy that John Elway is no longer running the football things. He's uh, finally found a GM. I just don't think that John Elway, uh, with all his various interests, with his ego, with his career as a as a successful NFL player and also his success early on with all he had to do was tell Peyton to come to come to Denver. You know, I don't think that he was putting in the right amount of time necessary to be a GM. I just don't like celebrity GM hires personally. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's a fair point. It's, it's like the, what the Magic Johnson effect. Like he just is never in the actual office. Uh, I that's interesting. I mean, um, 
it's weird. It's always his, his thing for tall quarterbacks will never not be weird. Um, but also the fact that he's a QB and he was really good at signing defensive players. He was good at assembling defensive talent, which is just strange because he played QB. And he well, wouldn't know a good QB if it bit him in the face. If you think about it, though, that's what he played against. That's, that's what he used to see. He probably looked at it. This is what Who I not want to play against. Huh. Yeah, exactly. As opposed to quarterback, he he drafted Paxton Lynch. Okay, I think that's done. I think I think we I think we killed that division. 